This letter, signed by dozens of former Israeli generals to President Biden, represents 5,000 representatives across Israel's military, security and law enforcement agencies. According to Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid's office, he spoke directly to President Biden about their shared commitment to stopping Iran's progress towards a nuclear weapon. After a briefing from Lapid, former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke directly to Iran's leadership. I want to send a very clear message to the Ayatollahs in Iran. With an agreement or without an agreement, they will never get a nuclear weapon. Supporters of re-entering the deal, like Biden, believe the original 2015 accord effectively restrained Iran's nuclear capabilities, although military intelligence reports and U.N. inspectors have refuted that conclusion. The White House confirmed that during the conversation with Lapid, President Biden underscored U.S. commitment to never allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon.